Good morning, day two, it's exciting. I'm still in my bedroom. I'm not yet back in my office. I'm still having internet issues. Oh my goodness, trying to get that video to upload into this group yesterday was my biggest, biggest fear um, because I couldn't get it to upload. The live didn't work. The video that I then had to do again and record for you, that wouldn't upload. All of my fears, all of them came up and up and up. Um, and I had to just go, you know what? No, this is what the challenge is about. This is what I am doing. And that is why I am talking into this topic. So actually, I think Facebook was saying to me, or the internet, or, you know, whoever it was, was kind of going, you know what, you're talking on fear, let's give you a little bit and see how you cope. I coped okay, I did not get overwhelmed, I used the techniques, I did some deep breathing, which is something I'm going to do yet tomorrow, um, and you know, it was all fine, and you all got to see it, and it eventually uploaded, and so I faced my fear and it didn't all go wrong and things didn't all fall apart and here I am for day two. So, day two. This was going to be tomorrow's day but I've brought it forward because some of the answers that you gave me yesterday, I actually really think that what I'm going to talk on today and what I'm going to teach you today and the um, the modality that I'm going to give you today to use, I think it's going to be really, really helpful for so many of you. And I actually think having an extra couple of days to practice using this and having me coming in here live and, and talking about things, it's going to give you a chance to ask questions and have a practice and have a go. And if anything comes up, we're still here and we're still together and we're still working on it and I can answer your questions um, and we can just go through things again. So day two is now going to be on EFT tapping, which is incredibly amazing. But before we get there, before I give you that, I just want to talk a little bit and I want you to do a little bit of journaling around your fears. So the majority of the task for today is I'm going to give you the EFT, the, the, the kind of the practice round, and we're going to do a bit of that together. But the majority of today's homework is going to be some journaling tasks. So yesterday we talked about our biggest fears and I asked you to list your biggest fears and I asked you to think about your biggest fear and I asked you to think about the impact that, that has on your life. And, you know, it could have been things like, I have a fear of putting myself out there. I have a fear of actually being noticeable on social media. I have a fear of being judged. I have a fear of what will people think of me. I have a fear of not making enough money if you've got a business. Um, I have a fear of not getting clients. I have a fear of being too old. I have a fear of being too fat. I have a fear of not being fit enough, you know, and some of the ones that came up for you ladies, and we have one solitary gentleman in our group now too. Um, fear of flying, which is a major one fear of spiders, fear of going out, fear of driving. They are all very valid things that we could have felt throughout our lives. But the journaling exercise I want you to do today is going to peel back the layers and it's going to open up where that fear actually first came from. Where did you actually start feeling like it? I bet if you go back, you can't pinpoint. I I can't pinpoint where my fear of spiders came from. I have no idea where that fear actually stemmed from within um, my childhood. You know, some of them are easy. So the one when I talked about yesterday, children should be seen and not heard. So my fear of being putting myself out there and actually being seen and being heard came from that belief that I was being given as a child. But then we have these things like fear of flying and fear of driving and fear of spiders and fear of going outside or fear of lifts, fear of confined spaces. Where do they come from? You know, where do they actually stem from? So today we're going to peel back the layers. 
we are going to be like an onion and we're going to peel and peel and peel and we are eventually going to come to the the little tiny middle which tells us where it came from when you get there that's when you can dissipate it and actually get rid of the fear and that is what EFT tapping will do for you so I want you to write down your biggest fears I want you to come up with I don't know the, the real big ones, the real ones that make you feel just horrible inside. Like it could be the fear of flying, it could be the fear of driving, it could be fear of snakes, it could be fear of confined spaces. The ones that really, when you first think of fear, what are the things that come to mind? I want you to write it down and really dig down deep and think about what actually impacts your life. What fears do you have that actually impact on your quality of life and the things that you do and the things that you stop yourself doing because of the fears that you have? When you've wrote those down, I want you to think back and write the stories around it. Really dig deep, really go back in your subconscious and write down the stories. What is the first time that you remember feeling this fear? What were you doing? Where were you? Who were you with? You know, where did it actually stem from? Because I promise you the answers are all in there. They're just locked down deep because it's a fear and because it's something you don't like to do and because your RAS, the reticular activating system, keeps you safe, it's locked it all down so that you can't access where it comes from because once you access the stories that actually sort of preclude the fear, that's when you will see that it's not true. It is just a story and it stemmed from somewhere and when you actually ask yourself where it came from and you figure out in your brain where it's stuck, you will see that it is just a, an old crappy story that you don't have to listen to anymore. So keep peeling back those layers, just journal, just write. Whatever comes to mind is right, okay? With journaling, whatever comes up is right. Doesn't always have to make sense either, just write. Just write whatever comes into your mind. And within that writing, within the subconscious brain, within what you're being given when you trust, that is what you need to hear and that is the right thing. So that's the first thing. Um, you know, a belief is really powerful. It's really powerful. And when you have a belief in your subconscious, you will do anything in your power to make that belief true. You will do anything in your power to keep looking for the signs that your belief is actually real. And what we need to do is we need to change those beliefs to better stories, to better things, um, to look at where they came from and actually say, is it a fear? Is it true? Or is it just something that I've actually made up because of this that happened? Once we can get to that part, we can begin to change them. Our fears come from our experiences always, always. There will be something in your past, an experience, um, something that you did, somewhere that you went, something somebody said. There will be an experience that made you think this thing. There will be something deep buried that made you have this particular belief about yourself and you know what we need to stop listening to those old stories we have to stop listening to the messages that were given to us sometimes as far back as childhood because they don't serve us anymore and they are not empowering us to move forward and to do better and they're not true most of them are not true and the other thing I want you to think about when you're doing this journaling exercise is that success is always at the end of failure it's always you have to stop being scared of putting yourself out and doing the thing that you don't enjoy or that makes you feel the fear because it's only by failing and doing it again and doing it again and doing it again and doing it again that you will tell your subconscious brain actually this is okay this is it's good I'm not feeling as bad now I'm actually okay doing this like take um I don't know 
Maria talked yesterday about fear of going out in the car. Now, when I first spoke to Maria about this fear a while ago, I can't even remember how many months ago it was, um, but you told me the same story and you kind of said, I'm really, really scared of driving. And then the next sort of time I heard something, you'd got a little car. And then the next thing of that was you'd driven down to the local shops. You know, all of those things are moving you forward. They're moving you forward and you are facing the fear and you're actually doing it anyway. And the more you do that, the more you will actually show your reticular activating system that it's not, it's not something that, that we need to be kept safe from. Um, it's actually okay. And when you start to look for the belief that it's safe and not the belief that it's fearful, you will actually start to change the neural pathways within your brain. Um, the loudest message is always the one that's heard. And so if you can say to yourself, rather than, you know, when you get on that plane or you get in that car or you get in the lift or you go on the escalator or whatever it is that you're scared of, rather than standing at the bottom and standing at the beginning of that thing and kind of going, oh my God, I don't like this. Oh my God, I don't like this. I'm feeling, I, I'm feeling scared. What if this happens? What if that happens? What if I get stuck? What if, um, you know, what if I hit the accelerator instead of the brake? What if we get lots of turbulence on the plane? Whatever it is, if you stand at that beginning part and actually do some deep breathing exercises, do some EFT tapping, which I'm going to show you in a moment, and then actually quieten your brain and give yourself a new message like, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. It will be fine. I've got this. I've got this. I've got this which is whether you've got this part of yesterday came from. So you just need to start telling yourself better stories before you do the thing that makes you scared. If you're scared of going live, right? I can remember back in the day when I first started on my journey, I was petrified of doing videos. I was petrified of talking on social media. I was petrified of doing this that I actually love now. I would sit and I would hover over that record or play button or whatever it was. Like, oh my God, oh my God, what if I get it wrong? What if I can't remember what I'm gonna say? What if I mess up? What if nobody listens? What if nobody watches? What if I get some hate comments on my video? What if people think that I'm, you know, mutton dressed as lamb? What if people think, who on earth is she to be telling me this and me teaching me this stuff? I would sit there and all of those thoughts would come into my head. Whereas now, I just go, I don't actually care who thinks that what I'm talking is dribble. Because I know, I actually know it's an absolute deep-seated belief in myself that what I am saying and what I am teaching and what I am getting across and what my message is can change lives. I know with absolute certainty that this stuff works because I have lived it and I am here doing it and I know that all of the things that I can give you actually make a difference. I am not the person I was, you know, two, three years ago, even one year ago. I am not the same person. I literally have grown and grown and grown. And if you look at pictures of me back then compared to now, I do not even look like the same person. In fact, many people, when I put up old photographs, they actually comment that doesn't look like you. You don't actually look like that person anymore. And that is what personal growth can do for you. It changes you inside, which changes you outside. It's such an amazing thing. And journaling is a big part of that because you get down to the root of the problem and you get down to where it actually came from. So your journaling task, what we, what I, I've rambled again, but in a roundabout way, this is what I want you to do. I want you to write down your fears and I want you to write down the old beliefs around those fears, why you think you have them and where they came from. As I say, it doesn't have to make sense just yet. Just write, just get it out on paper, just brain dump it all onto the page. And then I want you to ask yourself, is this belief real? Is it a story? 
is it ridiculous? Is it something that you've been told that no longer has to ring true for you in your life? Is it somebody else's fear? Like, is it a fear that was given to you by somebody? And if so, who? Where did it come from? And then, once you've got your fears, and I want you to look at maybe the top two or three, the things that are really causing you pain and causing you to stay stuck, I want you to flip them. And I want you to write an affirmation which flips the belief and actually changes the neural pathway in the brain that makes the new belief the strong belief. So what I mean by that is just say, you know, for me, for my personal one, when I when I think back, you know, mine was, I am afraid of being seen. What if I look silly? Okay, so I want you to flip that. And instead of, I am afraid, what if I look silly? My new belief, my new affirmation that I would repeat to myself over and over and over again to, to create the new neural pathway would be, I am brave. I am amazing. And what I am saying needs to be heard. So I've completely flipped the old belief into a new one. And then I'm going to write it in the positive. I am brave. I'm not fearful. I am brave. What if people judge me? I need to get my message across. What I am saying needs to be heard. It's a complete flip of the old belief into a new one. And then you repeat that to yourself again, over and over and over and over like a broken record until that belief becomes the loudest and overpowers the old one that you no longer need to listen to. So yesterday you wrote down, uh, well, you said to yourself, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am worthy. You recorded your voice, you recorded it. I now want you to go back to that recording and I want you to add on to it with your new empowered belief. And I want you to repeat that new affirmation that you come up with. And if you get stuck with these, pop them in the comments and I can help you to flip them. Um, and I can give you the total opposite of, you know, what you're thinking, write it down below and I'll help flip it around. And then I want you for another 20 seconds on the first, you've got your, your first 20 seconds from yesterday. Now we're going to do another 20 seconds with your affirmation, with your new affirmation. So now you've got a 40 second voice note and record it, listen to it. Because as I say, your own voice is the most powerful voice that you can possibly listen to. If you hear it in your own voice, it will sink in here so much quicker and you will actually change that belief. But, right, so here's the exciting part. What I'm gonna give you now is we're gonna run through just a quick setup of an EFT statement around fear. I'm going to take you through a negative round and then I'm going to take you through a positive round. Now EFT, why EFT? Why can it change and what can it do for you? Um, I heard of EFT a couple of years ago. I started using it all the time on my fears about 12 to 15 months ago and the difference it made in my life and in my brain was absolutely incredible. And it's now one of the things that I do whenever I fear, I feel fear rising for any reason, I just tap on it. I just tap on the meridian points on my body and I'm gonna show you where they are. And actually, if you play all out in this challenge, I'll let you into, let you into a little secret now. If you play all out, in this challenge with me and you do all the tasks and you do all the things that I'm asking you to do and you are active within the group and you are supportive and you are doing the stuff, one of the prizes that you will all get for playing all out is the, the, the actual full on script for fear and anxiety that I'm gonna give you a little sample of now. And it comes in a beautiful handout so that you can see how to do it, where the points are, why it works. It talks about the SUD scale, which is the scale of one to 10 of how high your fear is and then how we, we with tapping, we press it down and go down to a, hopefully a zero. It's one of the most amazing things. And what I'm gonna give you now is we do a setup statement 
and then we do a negative round, which allows us to feel the fear and allows our brains to go, okay, this is safe. This is my fear. This is true for me. This is okay. I can, I can get on board with this. And then we get into the positive and it's when we get into the positive rounds, it's when you dispel the fear and when it goes away. So what we're going to do now together is just a quick sample. It's just going to take a couple of minutes, but to do a full on round of tapping, um, you should be here for a good sort of 10, 11 minutes doing this. Okay. And that's what I'm going to give you at the end as a gift for playing out with me. So we're going to tap on our beliefs. We're going to tap on fear. And this could be different for whoever's watching this. You're going to have different fears, different beliefs. So I've made it general, but you'll see, you'll get into it as we go. So you always start with the karate chop point, which is this point on your hand here. And you always make a setup statement. So our setup statement could be something like, um, I feel all this fear and anxiety. I've been holding on to this belief for so long, but I fully accept it. It's okay. So you would go, I feel all this anxiety but I, and failure and fear of failure, but I fully accept it and it's okay. I feel all this fear and anxiety, but I fully accept it and it's okay. I feel all this fear and anxiety, but I fully accept it and it's okay. Okay, so that's your setup statement and that's the, the karate chop, which is the first meridian point on the body that we tap on. And then we go through a round, which could be, you ready? I'll do it with you. Put my hair back so you can see the points. This belief, it feels so true to me. I have had this belief for such a long time. I keep telling myself that I have this fear of, insert your belief, flying, driving, lifts, whatever it might be. Right now, this fear feels so true to me. I have had this fear for such a long time, but I know that it's going to be okay. Okay, so that's the negative round. That's the point. And I don't worry, I know I went through that really quickly, but I'm going to give you a diagram and show you where all the points are so that you can practice. But for now, just watch this video, follow along with me. So you've got your setup statement on the karate chop, you do your negative around the points on your body, and then you would do that for maybe three or four rounds, and then gradually bring in the positive. Okay, so here's an example of a positive round. Okay, top of the eyebrow. It's okay, I feel safe to question this fear. I can relax my mind and ask myself why I feel this fear. I feel totally safe in my surroundings and in my body. I can ask myself now, is this fear really true? Is it really fear or is it just a story that I've told myself? I don't have to believe this anymore. I don't have to believe everything that my mind is telling me. I can be okay without this fear. Okay, so that's when you bring in the affirming statements, the new statements, the, the real sort of change making statements, if you like. I know that was really quick but watch this video again and again and again. I'm gonna put the diagram of the points into the group for you so you've got them. And I really want you to practice on this and you can change my words. You can change it to be something that feels better for you, something that feels more empowering for you. That is the beauty of EFT. It's your words, it's your fear, it's your anxieties that come up. Um, but when you do this and when you get to know where the points are on your body, you can really, it's like acupuncture only without needles. It's like acupuncture only without the need to go to somebody and actually have, you know, needles put along the points. You can do it yourself. You can be sat in that car or on that plane or wherever you are and you can tap on the points on your face and your head and on your collarbone and you can actually make yourself calm you can make your body 
calm easily. So have a practice with that. Do the homework tasks, do the journaling, find out where the fears came from and I will hopefully see you tomorrow when you've all had a practice, you've all had a go, you're all getting into how this stuff, how EFT actually works and then we can talk a bit more about how meditation and breathing practices can also flow into this and again just calm your body down even more. You do not need to feel these fears anymore, you don't have to live in the state of anxiety because there are so many ways to calm your entire nervous system down and just change things for the better. So I hope that was helpful. Have a practice. I will be here in the group all day today. So if you're having a practice and you just need a need to ask a question or you want me to come back in later on and do another round so you can see the points even more, more than happy to do that. Um, yeah, ask questions, make comments, and I will answer everything, I promise. And I'll see you tomorrow.